Greetings from Chesar and KK. This is Vinay Kuru. Uh, I am working as a product specialist for their Boson range of autoclaves since the last four years. In my previous video, we talked about the importance of sterilization, why we should use autoclaves in a clinical or dental practice. And in today's video, I am trying to answer a question which uh, many of my colleagues may have come in contact with. Uh, many of the doctors have asked me while my interaction with them, many of the dentists have asked me. The question is, what is the difference between an N-class and a B-class autoclave? As per the European standards and the literatures, if you analyze, basically the autoclaves are classified into an N-class, a S-class and a B-class autoclave. So what is this classification? N-class autoclave are, you can call it as, the primitive initial designs of the autoclave. A design of the autoclave was initially inspired from the basic cooker type autoclave which are mostly available in the Indian market manufactured by many Indian manufacturers. So it is also called as a top loading or a cooker autoclave and those are the N type autoclave. Now in N type autoclave you can call it as nothing. Basically there is no post air removal and there is no drying mechanism available in it. So that is the reason it can be called as an N-class autoclave. So basically you don't have both these features in it. And since in the dental industry majority of the autoclave sellers are dealing with N-class and the B-class autoclave. So in today's video I would be comparing these two to make it more clear to majority of the people who are coming in contact with these two terms and having the question what is the difference between an N-class and a B-class. So as mentioned earlier in an N-class autoclave basically it is a cooker type autoclave where the instruments are put inside the chamber, the water is poured below inside the chamber itself below the instruments, the steam is produced inside the chamber itself and the steam penetrates into the in instrument by displacing the air which is called as a gravity displacement and the air removal happens and the sterilization happens. Now the problem with this is that first of all the steam penetration is not effective. It is up to 60 to 70 percent around. The next problem being is that after the sterilization is over there is no drying. So the instruments come out almost wet. And this happens in majority of the cooker type autoclave. And this I have realized as per my discussion with many of the doctors, they have put in the pouches as well in the cooker type autoclave and they come out wet. And then they have to wait for a long period of time to get the instruments dry. Now the other problem with this is that if the pouches are wet and kept for drying, then whatever pathogens are there in the clinic environment can stick to the surface of the pouches because of the moist environment and lead to contamination. So drying is very important after sterilization. Now in case of N-class autoclave again, there are few autoclaves which have a front loading design. As I mentioned earlier, some of them have a top loading design but some of them have a front loading design also. And one of them is the Dolphin autoclave from Boson being sold by Chesar NK Care Services. And this Dolphin Autoclave, uh, the two advantages from the top loading autoclave of the Dolphin is that it has a two temperature standards set 121 and 134 as well as it has a heating mechanism at the end of the sterilization which helps in faster drying of the instruments. So you need, you need lesser time. Also the amount of moisture on the surface of the instrument would be comparatively less as compared to what you put it in a cooker N-class autoclave. So that way, if a doctor is looking for a budget-friendly option in autoclave, they are not very keen to invest in a B-class and but still they need something better as compared to the cooker autoclave, they can always look for the Dolphin range of autoclave from Boson from Chesar Dental Care Services. Now let us understand what is so special or what does it features which are there in a B-class autoclave which makes it much much better or superior to as compared to an N-class autoclave. So as I mentioned earlier, in case of N-class autoclave, there is no forced air removal and then there is no drying mechanism. So the both these features are there in the case of a B-class autoclave. So how does both these features are present? So if you analyze the normal working of a normal working of a B 
autoclave, basically there is a heating phase where the temperature reaches the desired level. Then there is a holding phase for the desired time period where the sterilization happens. And then there is a cooling phase where the temperature drops down and the exhaust and everything happens. Now, in case of a B-glass autoclave, prior to the heating phase, there is an air removal phase. In this air removal phase, the air is removed in three steps. Why in three steps? So it, as for the studies done, it was found that when the air is removed in three steps, almost 99% of air removal happens. So how does this air removal is done? Basically, in case of a B-class autoclave, the steam is generated inside a steam generator, inside, inside a steam generator, not inside the chamber itself. So this steam generator slowly releases the steam inside the autoclave and then the mixture of steam and air is removed by the vacuum pump. Again, the steam is released. So this way, the removal of the mixture of air and steam happens three times. And this way, the vacuum pump and the autoclave is able to achieve almost 99% air removal. After this air removal happens, then there is a heating phase in which the temperature rises to the desired level. Say for example, 121 degrees Celsius for 14 minutes and the temperature is held for that period of time. And then afterwards, there is an exhaust phase. There is an exhaust phase and before the exhaust phase, there is a drying phase. So this, in this drying phase, what happens is there is a post sterilization vacuum. So if you see the specifications of most of the B-class autoclave, there is a pre-sterilization vacuum and post-sterilization vacuum. So this post-sterilization vacuum helps in the drying of the instruments. So what does this post vacuum does is that in this vacuum condition, the water evaporates very fast. Because of which there is no droplets of water left on the surface of the instrument. So this helps in complete drying of the instruments which are ready to use after the cycle is completely over. So this way, B-class autoclave ensures 100% air removal as well as complete drying of the instruments. Then there are certain other features also in the B-class autoclave. There are microprocessors which are controlling the regulation of the temperature. It ensures that the there is a uniform increase in the temperature. Especially this feature is there in case of a B Boson B plus autoclave. There are safety low lock door uh, features, the microprocessor controlled, and also it ensures that the temperature of 121 and 134 it reaches that particular temperature, it doesn't offshoot the temperature and it remains at that temperature for the desired time period. So such safety features and advanced features are there. And in addition to that, as for the European standards, the B-class autoclave needs to have certain test cycles in it. Uh, one of them is the vacuum test, then there is a bovidic test and a helix test. Now, if you see our Boson autoclave, uh, the Tanda B-class which we have, on the panel itself, the vacuum test and the bovidic test is mentioned. The vacuum test can be done by the dentists themselves. The bovidic test requires a kit to be put inside the autoclave and to be performed and the helix test also requires a helical device to be put in the autoclave and the test to be performed. You can always help the doctor to for performing these tests and uh, these three tests basically helps in monitoring of the autoclave just to make sure that the autoclave is working fine. So I believe this small video has helped in understanding the difference between the N class and the B class. And we offer both as Tessa Dental Care Services. In M class, we have the Dolphin Autoclave, and in case of the B class, we have the Tanda. And again, in B class, we have a few options available. One is 18 liters, then we have a 23 liter, and then we have a B class 23 liter with printer also. So these three options are available in case of a B class. And uh, we give it as a package along with a water distiller and a pouch sealer. So it becomes a wholesome package for a doctor to consider in case of a clinical setup. I believe this video was informative to you. In case.